Happy Halloween. This is Song Time with Johnny Boy episode. No, actually, this is not. This is Song Time with John Henry Sheridan, a completely different series than Song Time with Johnny Boy. Episode 9, the Halloween episode. I hope you ghouls and ghosts are prepared to be scared by my friendly children's Halloween music. Oh. If there's a pumpkin out there, raise your hand. If you can hear me, please let me know. How is the sound? I'm sorry I am three minutes late as per usual. So please do let me know how it sounds like by you. <laughs> okay, for my first song, I won't even introduce it. I don't have the time. <laughs> eating your vegetables today, your fruits, or are you eating your candies? 
Thank you, Darlene. Thank you, Deanna, again for joining. Thank you all there out there in Facebook land. Feel free to chime in the conversation. I think I could see comments, which is nice. And Deanna says cookies. <laughs> all right, yes, I'm going to have some cookies today. Next song is an original, but see, hold on. Hold on, guys. It would not be a proper song time with John Henry Sheridan Halloween version without some Halloween jokes. So, here we go. What is a vampire's favorite part of the guitar? A vampire's favorite part of the guitar is... Three, two, one... The neck. Mmm. I'll give you one more. What was the problem with the twin witches? Ah, Deanna said neck. The problem with the twin witches is you just never knew which witch was which. This one's called Hollow's Eve. An original. In three, four, no less. Morbid monsters, winsome witches, moaning mummies and black bats, zany zombies, freaky fairies, bawling banshees, hairy rats. Hollow's Eve, Hollow's Eve, Hollow's Eve. a spooky one. Darlene also guessed neck for the joke, the previous joke. Speaking of which, how come skeletons never play church music? Could that be a trick-or-treater? Let's see. That would be nice. How come skeletons never play church music? Easy because they have no organs. Yes, trick-or-treaters, yay! All right. This one is called Here Come the Monster. Cheers. 
that's a very serious song with very deep messages about wait a second it's not that serious it's not that deep it's just about Halloween hmm now who did uh, Frankenstein take the, to the prom to the prom dance any old ghoul he could dig up I know it's almost not even a joke I just remember that one um, so keep the comments coming guys thank you Deanna thank you Darlene for commenting thank you everybody who's watching with their hands full maybe you're cooking maybe you're putting on makeup and you can't comment thank you for being here or maybe you're watching on the replay please leave your comments then too I will be checking it and loving your comments so not a commercial break but just a reminder if you haven't signed my email list on John Henry Sheridan music .com, why not sign it and keep in touch with me for infinitum Deanna says such a nice show thank you Deanna and John Henry guitar lessons.com you can sign that mailing list if you want to know about guitar stuff that I do so my wife said um, not to put on the Frankenstein mask for this song, but I'm going to do it. And it's not really a mask. I'm going to defy her just a little bit. She made this mask. This is my Frankenstein mask. And this song is called Big Frankie. It's an original song. The last one was also, the last two were also original. And they were in my book, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Keep the mask on for the next one. Hey, Tom. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone out there in Facebook land and beyond. To infinity and beyond. Who am I quoting? Okay. Um, so, wait. Are you watching it too, Yoko? Is that you out there? And Kai? Tom? Darlene? Deanne? Are you there? You guys there? Who else is there? Let me know. And, uh... Oh, spooky sticker. All right. And on the replay, feel free to let me know, too. And uh, where are you guys watching from? Which borough are you watching from? Which country? So, you know, which fruit is Dracula's favorite fruit? He has two favorite fruits. Thank you. Darlene loves the mask. Which favorite fruit? Is Dracula's favorite fruit? He has two. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Wrong. 
She says pomegranate, the woman over there. All right, so we got one watching in Ozone Park. We got, oh yes, Deanna says blood orange. Yes, that is one of Dracula's two favorite fruits. What is the other one? Apple. Apple is his fourth favorite fruit. I want to know his first two favorite fruits. And pomegranate is his third favorite. Very close. Uh, <clears throat> tomato pomegranate? Guys, tomato pomegranate. Tomato is his fifth favorite fruit. You guys are very, very close. Deanna got the closest, blood orange. But no one guessed his first favorite fruit. Not a peach, but a nectarine. Ha ha ho ho ho. My jokes are getting better each second. <clears throat> this is a song dedicated to all you fans of the Monsters show out there. It's called Theme from the Monsters. <laughs> So Yoko, Deanna says, hello. Hello. And Darlene's sending spooky vampire image with, uh, I think, bunny slippers. And Tom appreciates the joke. Thank you, Tom. I got another one just for you. Tell me, boy. Uh, how do you make a skeleton laugh? <laughs> That's how you make a little kid laugh. That's different. You make a skeleton laugh by tickling its funny bone. Oh, yes. And one more for you. Why don't mummies like vacations? Why don't mummies like vacations? Because they're afraid they will relax and unwind. Ha ha ha! He he he! Okay. <clears throat> this next song is dedicated to uh, Vanessa Sitten in Germany, who is teaching her students there songs from my Halloween book, and uh, she is. Um, having fun with this song Pumpkin Witch. So this goes out to Vanessa and all you ghoulish pumpkins and witches out there. It's called Pumpkin Witch. It's a very scary song.
tongue twister. It gets me every time. Don't let anyone tell you. Don't let anyone fool you that writing a song means you could, you could play it better than someone else. Writing a song does not mean you could play it better than other people. If someone tries to learn that song accurately, I tried to move the camera to see Kai. Okay, Kai, you wanna talk to them? Show them your makeup? Um, no. Yes, I was just gonna show them. Okay. Well, this is appropriate that Kai's here because the next song is called Little Creatures of the Dark. And Kai Kun is a little creature. <clears throat> Kai Kun, by the way, for those who are not Japanese, means uh, Kun is a um, uh, affectionate term, term of endearment type of thing, like little Kai. I need it. In Japanese. For boys. If it was girl, it would be Kai Chan. <clears throat> All right. This is called Little Creatures of the Dark. Kai needs another chair. Hold on, guys. And speaking of which, don't forget to follow me on Spotify. Help me increase my numbers and look really cool. And many of these... I need to go right here. Many of these songs are from this book. Single string Halloween songs. Released, no, it's too hot. released quite appropriately on St. Patrick's Day. It's too hot. 2015. It's too big and it's too hot. This one must pick up. Thank you, though. Thank hey, you. Kai, are we ready? Um, but I did not yet. Okay. I'm gonna like this. Are you? I, well, we can't see if you like that. There we go. Okay, we can see you. All right, here we go. I Little creatures of the dark. Stuff. Little goblin hobbling through the forest, tiny fairy flying by the lake, teeny spider crawling on a thin web, small dwarf creature lurking in his cave. These are the little people, these are the little creatures hiding and waiting every Halloween night. Look for them in the shadows, look for them in the darkness, they can Says hi, Kai. Explain we all have a friend, Kai. We are a family, and we all have a yes. third eye. If Yoko can mm -hmm. show you, and this is my third she can't eye. figure out how to show you. <laughs> this is my third eye, and okay. this is my third eye. This is my third, this is my third eye. I can't see more. And this is how I close yes. my eyes. This is what I usually do with my eye and my top mm. eye. We are from Venus. We are from Venus. We have three eyes. We have three eyes. And we hide them like this during the day when yeah. we're doing normal things. That's right. Like food shopping. <laughs> That's what they do here, right? Yeah. Okay, next one for you. <clears throat> this is a this is actually not a joke. This is a riddle. Um what runs around a cemetery but doesn't move? Thank you, Deanna, for our your nice eyes compliment. What runs around a cemetery but doesn't move, guys and gals?
what runs around a cemetery and doesn't move is the fence, the cemetery fence. Um, and where, oh, Deanna got it, fence. I know there's a slight lag, so that's why I'm waiting a bit for answers because it takes time for you guys to receive them and then think about it. Uh, so <clears throat> this is the inspiration for where we got the third eye from Venus thing, which show is this. any good father I've been uh, watching the Twilight Zone uh, on regular seasonal events um, with my son since he was a an infant I'm sure most uh, parental books recommend that um, and uh, so he at the age of five likes the Twilight Zone and knows many episodes of it all right hey Angelica Costa happy Halloween would the real Martian please stand up? Yes, that is the name of the episode. Awesome. You know your Twilight Zone, don't you, Deanna? Um, oh, and how uh, does a ghost get its mail? How does a ghost get its mail? By ghost power. By ghost power? Yeah, sometimes. But how about a ghost gives a mail to the ghost? The ghost gives mail to the ghost. And it returns mm -hmm. back into it. Yeah, sometimes. Um, please like and subscribe, guys. Like uh, the video and share. Like and share for Facebook. This is my book. I'm just showing you stuff. This is uh, some CDs I have. Um, I don't actually have any way to sell them on my site yet. I didn't set that up. I am... Uh, I learned something about myself. I am... The apple tree, I like to create apples, that's what I do. I'm not the salesperson in the market, okay? I'm, I'm not the farmer in that way, I'm the tree itself. Selling is not something that comes second nature, but I know you gotta do it, right? So I'm trying to do a little bit of that to get out. It's a good book, if you want it, you can get it. Uh, there's links below to figure out how to do that. Oh, and please, uh, there's a virtual tip jar if you want to show some appreciation for the show today. You can do so at the virtual chip, dar, chip jar, uh, buy me a cup of coffee, or um, a new pen, new couple of pens, uh, or more if you'd like. This next song is called A Spooky Place, also from my book, Single String Halloween Song. And the freaky friend before. 
adjust the camera here. So, uh, how is the sound, guys? Can you hear my... Uh, can you hear things okay? Uh, I think I set it up okay. And I know maybe Facebook isn't a big fan of this, but uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, please, too. YouTube. John Henry Sheridan Music, which has seen a nice uh, growth in my YouTube channel, my music channel, in the past uh, month or two. Up uh, over 100 subscribers. Really nice. I'm happy about that. Never happened before. It seems to have been generated from my uh, fingerstyle blowing in the wind video. <laughs> I could never have guessed that that would be what people want to see. Who knows? Who knows with this stuff? I just do what I'm inspired to do. Subscribe on YouTube, please. That'd be great. Uh, and Spotify, if you use Spotify, please follow me there. So how are you doing? How are you enjoying your Halloween? Is it boring? Are you stuck inside? Is it too cold? Is it hot? Is it uh, just right? Like Goldilocks? <clears throat> the Goldilocks story? Okay, this next one is less friendly than the Munsters. But a bit similar. The Adams Family. Thank you, Darlene, for keeping the flow of the comments going with fun, cool, creative Halloweenish stickers. <laughs> Guys, please share this live stream now. It helped more people to see it. Um, <clears throat> it's good to hang out with you guys. I do this, you know, I am not uh, on anyone's uh, uh, I don't get paid for this, these shows, right? This is from my heart. I say it because I guess it's obvious, but but point being, uh, so the more people can experience it and share it, you know, I put a lot of energy and forethought and then energy into it, so please uh, share it if you can. I'd like people to enjoy the Halloween spirit, especially maybe these days, uh, some people are frustrated with what's going on in society so having a little lighthearted Halloween fun is good for the soul it always is but do you like my lipstick hmm spooky this next song <clears throat> is the first Halloween song I ever wrote Probably a uh, <clears throat> free show, that's right. Uh, most of the shows I've ever done have been free. But I used to charge tickets when I was in a band. That, that was not fun. But I always get paid back uh, richly in heart energy. So this one's called Don't Go In There. And I originally wrote very spooky lyrics that I changed since to be more uh, kid-friendly. And I wrote it in 1999, or in 98 maybe. So here we are, how many years? 22 years later probably. 
and uh, not the world premiere, but I never really played it much. So here we go. That's scary. Oh, the house down the block is made of wood. It's old and it's, it's creaks and it's haunted good. The ghosts wear white just like they should. And the monsters are green like Robin Hood. Don't know. Squash my hat and you left him. You think that's okay? <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry. So, um, I actually, I used, I sang the old words, which were, if I were you and I didn't want to die, don't go in there. But I changed it to kid-friendly words, if I were you and I didn't want to cry. But uh, old habits die hard, you know? So I forgot that change. Got a couple more for you. <clears throat> Thank you, Deanna and Darlene, for chiming in. Uh, I see there are some other people watching, so please, guys, uh, say hello, share, click that like, and smash that like button, smash that heart button. Send your love. It'd be cool if we had a pumpkin button for today. I don't have any heavy metal songs for you, although I kind of feel like a metal guitarist right now. So Tom says it's National Knock Knock Joke Day and it's also National Doorbell Day. Do we need a doorbell day? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Thanks, Tom. Uh, so here's a little off-color joke. How come uh, a phantom makes no sound in the bathroom? How, can, how come a phantom makes no sound in the bathroom? Because <clears throat> the P is silent. This is a song. Thank you. 
Uh, I don't have any knock-knock jokes handy, Tom. I'm sorry. If anyone has one, they want to chime in, go for it. Uh, here we go. This is a song called Sweet Dainty Donut. And uh, it's a original song with a very unique uh, <clears throat> story or premise. I'll show you the picture. Okay. Now, mind you, I did write this before I became vegan. And then I published the book after I was already vegan. So I didn't, uh, I didn't retract it. I said, okay, you know what? Donuts. Not anti-donuts. I just, uh, I choose to eat vegan. I don't want to be that much of a bore. There are vegan donuts. They exist. All right. Sweet dainty donut. This must be a vegan donut I'm singing about, Deanna. I agree. Sweet, dainty donut, purple and green. Somebody gave me on Halloween. Sweet, dainty donut, you've never seen a donut with frosting so purple and sprinkles so green. What are the flavors? It tastes so great. Have it with fruit juice, coffee, or tea. But when the flavors explode in your mouth, don't you blame me. Sweet dainty donut, purple and green. Somebody gave me on Halloween. Sweet dainty donut, you've never seen a donut with frosting so purple. Flavor so dainty, so sweet. Sweet, dainty donut, purple and green. Somebody gave me on Halloween. Sweet, dainty donut, you've never seen a donut with frosting so purple and sprinkles so Thank you for the flower treats. The treat that looked like flowers for a second, Deanna. Thank you. Guys, just to remind you, there is a virtual tip jar. If we were sitting in a room, my living room here, or in a bar, and I pass around the can, and you put in what you can, makes sense. Uh, it's the same type of vibe. If you want to put in a couple bucks, um, I think it says three, five, or ten, but you can put in whatever you want if you want to put in. A dollar, if you want to put in 10, uh, 10, 100, whatever. I'm not going to stop you. Dude. Uh, Kyle Honchan. Hey, Kyle. Hey, what's going on, dude? Hope all is well with you. Happy Halloween. So let me see. What do I have to play for you next? This is a song about candy. So, Deanna, your candy uh, text thing is very apropos. Again, being a vegan, this is difficult. For me, <clears throat> the candy thing, because uh, good luck finding a bunch of tasty, devilish vegan treats um, without spending a fortune or going to going to Venus to find them. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, again, this song I wrote before I went plant-based. I used to be a Halloween fiend, guys. I was a sugar... I was a sugar addict. I was definitely a chocolate addict. I was a Reese's peanut butter cup addict. I used to put sugar in my coffee, five or six cups a day, sugar and milk, and then have 
two or three donuts plus sweets plus whatever. I was not the model of healthy eating. So eventually caught up to me and I improved. But uh, yeah, so I'm not trying to be an angel when I tell you I eat vegan. I did it because it made sense to feel better. But I loved all that stuff. So anyway, how much candy will you eat? When we went trick-or-treating as children, <clears throat> we get the, my brother and I, my friends, we get the pumpkin head filled with uh, candy, dump it on the table, and we would go to town. It would probably be done in two days. You know, I hear kids have to have one a, one a day or something like that, max five a day. You know, I'm not blaming my mom. I think it was the, the, the times. But we had a lot at one time. Yeah, so Deanna pointed out they're sneaking in egg whites and a lot of vegetarian candy. So, you know, maybe I'll think about making an exception for holidays to have <clears throat> fun treats if I could really only have it at that time. But it's a little bit like, uh, you know, with addiction, it might sometimes it's easier to just cut all out. So, because that stuff is. I could easily uh, make exceptions for it, you know, so it's easy to say no. Jack o lanterns lit up bright. It's a spooky night tonight. Ghouls and ghosts will run around. Boom, did you just hear that spooky sound? The song Halloween. The spooks come out. you hear scary sounds like screams and shouts. Which sounded like there on Facebook land with uh, 
the uh, Bye, lead soprano right on the mic. Pretend it's Halloween. Thank you, Deanna. Deanna says, beautiful family. If you like it's Halloween. So I got to spit out some jokes quick because uh, we're going to be ending in one song. Uh, I could go two more songs. Yeah, I think I'll end it with one song. Keep it, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so a few more jokes. Um, why are graveyards so noisy? Why are graveyards so noisy? Why are graveyards so noisy? Because of all the coffin. That wasn't a hint. That was just me showing you guys, reminding you of that lovely book. Follow me on Spotify if you do Spotify. Please. Uh, by the way, I, I Spotify have under 20 followers, so, you know, if you follow me, that would be nice. Um, what do you call a plump? Oops, I gave it away. I'll come back to that. Uh, what did one old vampire say to another old vampire? Fangs aren't what they used to be. And uh, why is Dracula so unpopular? Why is Dracula so unpopular? Because... Because <clears throat> he's a pain in the neck. He's a pain in the neck. All right, this is my final mm -hmm. offering for you today before I let you go into the wide world of Halloween wonder. My family sends our regards. Hope you enjoyed your day. Uh, remember, there's a virtual tip jar. There's more about my book. And there's a lot, a lot of videos I put, put out, Halloween songs. The link is there. You can see all the Halloween-related stuff. Lots of videos on YouTube if you want more of this goofy fun over the years. Okay? <clears throat> What I like about Facebook Live, it's like we're just hanging out. Uh, you know. This is called Orange Goes with Halloween. And I've never released it yet. I put out some videos of me performing it, but I haven't officially released it <clears throat> one day for sure. I haven't played this in at least a year. Let's hope I remember it. Colors yellow, red, and brown can be seen as we drive around this town. But there's one color that cannot be forgot during Halloween. Orange is the spot. Orange and Halloween go together well, like candy corn and jack o' lanterns weave a magic spell. Who could dream of a Halloween with no orange to be seen? A crazier thought there's never been. Halloween has other colors, that's a fact. Purple, green, yellow, and of course black. But one color don't remove for heaven's sake. During Halloween, orange takes the cake. Orange and Halloween go together well, like candy corn and jack o' lanterns weave a magic spell. Who could dream of a Halloween with no orange to be seen? A crazy thought there's Hope that you are now in a better position When you're asked which color best suits Halloween day You will know quite well exactly what to say Orange and Halloween go together well Like candy corn and jack-o'-lanterns weave a magic spell Who could dream of a Halloween with no orange to be seen? A crazier thought
north has never been. Cause orange goes with dumb. Thank you. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye. I love you. See you later. Bye -bye. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Bye bye. I love you. Muchas See you later. gracias. See you guys later. See you guys later. How are you? How are you? Uh, I do have um, hey, one more thing to tell you that with my videos, um, <laughs> CDs, I have a fun winter song physical CD being processed, so that'll be available soon uh, for me to mail out to friends and, and, and fans, and uh, I'll, I'll make some offerings for that, but uh, that'll be great for the Halloween ho holiday season and the winter. Okay, happy, happy Halloween. Love you too, Deanna, Darlene, Tom, everyone who's joining us, uh, who I don't know about, and uh, so Kyle, thank you, and another friend whose name slipped my mind was a while back there. Uh, thank you all. Thank you all for joining. Take care. See you next time. Safe and happy Halloween. Oh,